Hey guys, it's Bryce with Hingear.com and Seven Sons Farms coming to you today uh, from inside my truck here. It's actually an extremely windy day out, so I'll probably shoot uh, probably all this video uh, here inside my truck. But I am uh, driving up the lane here uh, to where we house our lane hens. This is the pasture where uh, the hens hang out. Yep, so they're right back there. But I was hoping to take a few minutes here today to... Uh, share with you some of the things that uh, we've learned and some of the things that we're currently doing here in our farm uh, to protect our laying hens from predators. Um, I know uh, every farm is different uh, or it'll just be dependent upon the predators you deal with. But here on our farm in Northeast Indiana, we primarily uh, have struggled with throughout the years, hawks. Uh, hawks, I should say, is more of our daytime uh, predator. Nighttime, it would be uh, coyotes, foxes, and raccoons. Raccoons have been a big one, a big issue for us. Um, and then also back on the daytime, we've recently had bald eagles uh, move into the area, but thankfully we haven't had any issues uh, with those yet. So so I should probably back up here uh, 15, 20 years, you know, kind of in our earlier days, uh, starting out in the lane hen business. Uh, we were not using anything to protect our hens. You know, we just took our hens out on pasture in their portable coop, let them out, and we learned the hard way fast that you need to protect them, um, protect them against predators. And we tried using uh, automatic closing doors, but in a pasture-based setup, you just, you always can't guarantee that all of your hens are gonna go back inside their coop at night. So the next thing we discovered was, um, not the dogs yet, I'll, I'll touch on the dogs, or I should say the, uh, the animals here in just a minute. But the next thing we discovered was this electrified uh, uh, poultry netting or poultry fencing. Um, this was kind of a game changer on our farm, but it's basically just fencing that you can electrify with a fence charger. It helps uh, to keep your hens safe from a lot of different predators, but it also keeps your hens contained in a, a paddock area, uh, depending on how you set it up. And um, yeah, so that's what probably one of, the, one of the bigger things we use it for today is kind of more of a pasture management tool because what's so cool about it, it is portable. It's just step in post, you just step it into the ground. And one day you can build a paddock like this here and then when your chickens eat down the grass you can pluck the fence and go set up another paddock someplace else but um so this was kind of a game changer for us it um kept away a lot of the nighttime predators for us um, we, we still have issues though like it's very important that you get that fence all the way down to the ground because if you don't um something can easily crawl uh, on, uh up underneath the wire and uh, you know, if you're dealing with long grass out on pasture, it can be really difficult. So we still, for years, struggled with predators getting in. And, and like, once a predator gets in, tastes the chicken, like, they will just stop at nothing to get back in. Um, so, again, it is a fan. It's a fantastic tool. And I, I'd say it is something you have to have if you're going to be owning chickens. Um, especially kind of with a larger setup. Uh, like this and, uh, and again it also keeps your chickens contained in a smaller area so if you are using something like uh, livestock guardian dogs um, or uh, you know geese as well it makes it easier for your dogs or for those animals to guard uh, the area that they're in so if you get if you set up too big of a paddock um, so say if your dog's in one corner and you have chickens on the other corner um, um, you know, you can still have issues with say hawk swooping down and getting, uh, getting a chicken. So it's, it's very important that you don't make the area, uh, too big. That's something we learned earlier on. So we don't like to go any larger than, you know, this fencing comes in all sorts of different lanes. Um, but we don't like to go any larger than like 200 feet, 200 foot by 800. Um, you get much larger, larger than that. And it makes it a lot harder for the dogs, um, and or the geese, uh, to protect them. So. Uh, so it was the netting. That was the next thing we discovered. And then, you know, we're still having issues with uh, a lot of the nighttime predators and still with hawks. Um, so after that, we got uh, white Chinese uh, geese. Uh, there's also brown Chinese geese. I'm sure there's other uh, goose breeds out there that would work just fine. Um, and those were a bit of a game changer for us. Like they took care of, um, uh, or I should say they're more of a game changer for us with taking care of our hawk issue. Um, and especially not allowing your poultry netted area to get too large. Um, they kept the hawks away for the most part. And I highly recommend 
this may not always be possible, especially if you have a lot of kids and then when, you know, whether if you're on a farm or a small homestead, but I highly recommend a mean goose. Um, too many years we didn't have mean enough geese. Now we have some mean ones and they like to come up behind you as we're collecting eggs and they'll snap at your calves really hard and it hurts because they don't like you being in there and they're super noisy. That's probably the best thing with geese is they're extremely noisy. If anything comes into the area, flies into the area, they're making a ton of noise. So, uh, um, so yeah, especially with keeping away hawks, I recommend the geese. At nighttime though, um, I feel like they're, for the most part, for us anyways, they've been pretty well worthless. Um, I don't know if it's because they just can't see well at night. Um, but like when it comes to hawks, or sorry, when it comes to uh, uh, raccoons and foxes, yeah, it's like they can't see very well and they don't work and they just, they don't guard the chickens. So um, after the geese, uh, we started using uh, guardian dogs and specifically the, bre the breed we use is uh, uh, Great Pyrenees, but we also uh, have started mixing in some, I think, Krakachan and I think Kangle as well. There's a lot of different breeds out there and the dogs have just been by far the best. They, um, they take a lot of work. It's a lot of work to train them. I should say they take a lot of work to train up. After that, it's uh, once you have a system in place, uh, it's pretty straightforward. But um, yeah, they just take time. I would plan on budgeting at least a year, year to year and a half training up a pup. It's a lot easier if you already if you've trained up one dog, and if you introduce a new pup, usually that one that's already trained will help train up the other one. Uh, but it is quite a process, and I won't go into all the details of how to train a dog. There's plenty of books and other videos uh, out there that do a lot better tips than what we can offer. But they were a game changer. They keep away the hawks, they keep away the eagles, they keep away the raccoons, foxes, everything that we've dealt with, they pretty well have taken care of it as long as we don't allow our poultry netted area to get too large. So that is, um, that is key. But yeah, so those are some of the things that uh, we have done throughout the years and are currently doing. So like out here, uh, we currently have the dogs and the geese and the netting as well. And that combo has just worked out excellent here on our farm. So we're always trying out uh, different things and innovating and uh, we will continue to continue to do so and continue to make a lot of mistakes. Um, recently, we've started using um, donkeys for our sheep. We have, uh, I think about 500 sheep here on our farm and uh, the donkeys have done a fantastic job uh, of keeping away uh, the coyotes from the lambs. So they are very ter territorial, if I can say that word. Um, yeah, so they're working out very well. We haven't used them with the lane hens yet, but then maybe that's something we might add. I, well, I don't know how well the dogs would mix with them. Um, again, that's just something we haven't tried yet. But um, yeah, so hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you'd like to learn uh, more about our farm and what we do, um, feel free to check out sevensons.net. We also have a YouTube channel uh, as well. And again, we've, we've been raising lane hens here on our farm, about 550 acres here. Um, and yeah, we've ran upwards to 20,000 hens out here on pasture before. So we've learned a lot and we've made a lot of mistakes throughout the years as well. And if you'd like to learn about any of our uh, poultry equipment uh, that we offer as well, uh, please check out hengear.com. So again, appreciate taking time to watch this video here in my truck.